it's Pamela here. In this video I'll be sharing with you how I made this gorgeous mixed media box. These boxes are really versatile and can also make great gifts so if you'd like to make one of your own just sit back and keep watching. So to start off I'm priming my box with two thin layers of white heavy gesso. I want quite an opaque coverage. Um, I'll be doing a thin wash of colour after and I don't want any of the wood grain showing through so that's why I give it two layers drying in between each one and I'll also give a layer of gesso over my resin embellishments. For the next step I'm using a stencil and some paper texture paste. This will add loads of texture to the project and also give a lovely decorative finish. To get more of a shabby chic effect I'm mostly placing the paper paste around the outer edges of the box. Where there are some spaces left I decide to fill in the gaps with some crackle paste. Um, this will give a bit of an aged appearance.
Once my box is completely dry, I'm adding colour using Prima's Impasto paint in the shade Mint. I've really watered it down a lot and I'm spraying um, additional water onto the box just to get a lovely translucent finish. So once my impasto paint's dry, I've arranged a selection of resin pieces and Prima flowers into a composition that I like. I'll be attaching these to the box using heavy body gel, also by Prima. This is great for mixed media projects as it gives a really strong hold and also it won't melt if you need to use a heat tool later on in the project.
Once all of my pieces are attached to the box, I now go in and use acrylic paint just to paint my resin pieces. You could add paint to any of the embellishments before you attach to the box, but I wanted to see what they'd look like with the background before I decided on which colours to use. I'm now painting my final resin piece. I had left this until last just to make sure I could add paint to the pieces underneath it. I'll wait until this is dry and then I'll add it to the top of the flowers also using heavy body gel. Once everything is completely dry, I'll be adding some Art Alchemy wax just over the tops of my resin pieces. This will give a lovely frosty finish as I'm using the shade White Pearl.
I apologize that I've gone slightly out of frame here, but at this point I'm just adding a layer of white gesso with a dry brush over everything. This will give a lovely whitewash finish and give it even more of a wintry effect. It's now time just to add the finishing touches and I'll be using a selection of pearls and diamond art pebbles which I'll be attaching with some hot glue. Once these are all in place I'll be using a generous amount of crushed ice paste mainly on the flower petals just to give a really nice glittery and wintry effect.
please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more paper crafting and mixed media project shares, tutorials and walkthroughs. I'd also love to know if you're going to make one of these for yourself. Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, take care. Bye bye.